Hello everyone, welcome to the Lotus Goddess channel. So today I'll be pulling out some charms and we'll see what messages comes through. Uh, please keep in mind this is a collective reading. Um, so take what resonates for you. Everyone's on a different path and a different phase in their journey. So we'll see what messages comes through today, okay? We have a house. So this reading might resonate for some of you. It, there are different types of messages coming in this particular reading. So um, you will know whether or not this is for you. Maybe one more. Oh, let's do another one. Yep. Okay. So we have in this reading, we have the Divine Masculine here. We have my uh, Twin Flame Charm over here. What I can see in this reading, this has a lot to do with the Divine Masculine's family. Okay. Meaning his um his like parents okay like parents siblings so this is the divine masculine's um family like his parents or his siblings something like that um what i can see here is that this divine masculine um he has become kind of like the support for his family um in terms of um taking care of his um, family home uh, he could be also helping his family financially this divine masculine is kind of like uh, he has the responsibility of looking after his family whether it be his mother his father his siblings he has that responsibility um I see this divine masculine. He is very strong. Um, but at the same time, he is trying to find balance of uh, divine feminine, divine masculine energy within himself. This divine masculine is also being protected by God. And... Um, He has a lot of, um, I feel like a lot of responsibility has become a heaviness on him. He, it's kind of become an, a burden for him because he has a lot of things he needs to take care of. I feel like he's taken full responsibility of his um, entire family. And this could be because of some kind of circumstances within his home. In terms of love, I feel like this divine masculine already knows who he, who his divine feminine is. But because of his home responsibilities, he has put his divine feminine on hold. 
this divine masculine is trying to um trying to grow he's trying to progress he's trying to build a life for himself he knows that him and the divine feminine are uh, intertwined that they are uh, divine partners divine counterparts i feel like in some cases the divine masculine um he doesn't have that full strength within him to move towards um, the divine feminine, especially at this time, because of his responsibilities towards his um, family life. This is a divine masculine who is single. I feel like this divine masculine He, he's trying to find ways to get out of certain responsibilities in order to move towards the Divine Feminine, but he's being held down because of the responsibilities. There's, it's kind of like at this time, there's no escaping any responsibilities. Like he may be the one who is paying for, um, paying for their home, paying for the family's food. Um, he may be the only one who's working, um, or maybe he is the one who is taking taken on the entire responsibility of providing for the family. Something like that. He has a lot of love for his family. He has a lot of love and respect for his parents and for his uh, home life. This divine masculine wants to have um, a family of his own. He wants to have um, a wife and, you know, uh, children of his own one day. But at this time, because of his uh, home life responsibilities, he can't see a way to move towards the divine feminine. I feel like this may take some time. Um, and he may or may have not, uh, expressed this to the divine feminine. And if he did express his, uh, responsibilities to the divine feminine, it was just, um, very minimal. Like it was not as much, like he's not really talking openly about his family, um, circumstances. Uh, this is concerning um, a lot to do with money because he is the um, one who is um, bringing the financial support to the home. So this is a divine masculine who's working very hard. Um, he's also the one who is completely responsible for his family life. And because of that, um, at this time, he doesn't have the strength to move forward towards the Divine Feminine because of, because of his uh, family, family responsibilities. But he, re he does recognize the Divine Feminine as his uh, Divine counterpart. So this Divine Masculine is actually, um, he will be experiencing some kind of um, divine intervention. It's not going to be something that's very um, drastic, but the divine, the, the faith will push him forward towards the feminine. Um, but at the right time, it will be divine timing. Okay. Um, this divine masculine, he is carrying a lot of um, feelings, a lot of, he's not openly expressing himself to the divine feminine. Um, and he's also not expressing himself to his family. 
his family is unaware of the pressure that he's feeling um, within the home to take on the responsibility of looking after the home and family life. Um, he's trying to um, appear very strong to his family. Uh, he's not making it um, apparent to them that he is um, taking on too much. He's trying to balance his personal life and his home life and his uh, work as well. The Divine Masculine, um, at this time, he doesn't he doesn't realize um, that the Divine Feminine could actually be a strong pillar in his life. She could be a support as well for him. Um, at the moment, he has his um, kind of like his back turned towards her. Just because he is more focused on his family at the moment. So this Divine Masculine, um, he's feeling um, kind of like torn in between two worlds. Um, one, on one hand, he has his family who he needs to help and support because he is the financial um, support system for the family, his parents, his siblings. But on the other hand, he has this overwhelming love for the Divine Feminine, but he doesn't know how to be with her when he has such a big responsibility for his family life. Like he, he can't um, find a way at the moment to be with the Divine Feminine. Um, the Divine Masculine's feelings and love towards both his family and the Divine Feminine is very pure. Um, he's very... He has a very big heart, okay? He has such a big heart that um, he, he feels like he needs to be in so many places at once. It's hard for him to, to um, know which direction to go. Um, but he's taking on, at this time, he's taking on the responsibility of his, his home life, his family life. So I feel like this Divine Masculine, um, while he's in this phase, while he's in this phase of his life with the family, um, during his time apart from the Divine Feminine, um, he, will, he will find inner strength. It just will take a little bit of time, um, but this inner strength that he will experience, it will help him grow, okay? It will help him level up. Um, as a divine masculine, um, it will raise his energy. He will he will be a stronger version of himself. This is kind of like preparing him for his future with the divine feminine. His life with his family is giving him kind of like it's kind of like giving him the divine tools. Okay, let's call it tools. Divine tools. And that will be useful when he does have that union or connection with the Divine Feminine. So it's actually building him. It's building the Divine Masculine. These life experiences, these emotional experiences, these um, the spiritual growth that he's undergoing while he's with his family is leveling him up so he can... Um, he can be ready when he does connect with the Divine Feminine. So this is all to move towards um, union, towards his future home. Um, so, But at the moment, um, this phase of his life, this season of his life is to be with his current family, which is his, whether it's his mom, dad, parents, 
or with his siblings. So he is taking on the responsibility of being a um of being a good son, of being a good sibling and and also learning the responsibilities of kind of like preparing him to be a good um family man, right? So when he does connect with the divine feminine, uh, he will be a good husband, a good father. Okay, so this is a reading for today. This may resonate for some of you who are in this current situation. Um, if you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and thank you and have a great day. Bye everyone.